Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This time I'm going to share with you a tutorial, a simple tutorial how to make this cute pillow keychain. Okay, this is a um, few keychain that I've made. Let's get started. This keychain is made of a fabric. I'm using unbleached cotton and we draw it using fabric marker so i think this is a very good item uh, if you want to make it for sale at the craft fair or maybe um, for the birthday activities for your kids so the kids can just uh, coloring it with a fabric marker Let's see what we need to make this keychain. Okay, the first thing you need is fabric. Actually, you need two pieces, but I've made like this. Um, this is more easy, so this is the example. Because we're going to draw it at the right side, and then we fold it, and we will stitch it later using sewing machine. The next one we need is the gross green ribbon. Any kind of ribbon will, will work fine because it's just want to uh, attach this key ring. And then we need a fabric marker. So this is a fabric marker. This is a non toxic fabric marker and it's safe for kids. And the next thing is pattern just find a very simple pattern you may find it in the internet under coloring pitch section so this is view of it and the last one what we need is loose fiber and the extra extra thing you need is scissor smart small scissor and that's it Okay, this is a this secret behind it. You don't have to be really good in drawing because uh, we're going to use the light board to trace the pattern to the fabric. So it's so easy. Remember, we are going to draw at the right side. Okay, just take uh, your fabric marker and then just draw it. This one is so easy project. And just do like that. Mm -hmm. Again, this is the last part. Okay, please let it dry first before you start to stitch. If not, it will leave a stain, a stain in here. So just let it dry about a few minutes. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention about the size. My size is three and a half inch here and the four inch here. But you may, you know, you may use any size. But I think this is a very perfect size for me. It's not, it's not too small and not too big. It's just nice. Okay, let's go to the next step. Okay, once you're done with the drawing, you can take your ribbon, fold it, and take into the center. 
folder fabric okay like this one place it center um, if you have a uh, clip you may get a clip to to hold it and one more thing if you have uh, your label you may put it at this side okay and then don't forget to clip it too okay we will stitch it using sewing machine okay we're going to start stitch Don't forget to leave uh, about a, an inch without stitch, okay? Because you're going to turn it inside out layer. Okay, it's done. Take the scissor and snip all four corner. This is going to prevent uh, the bulky okay when it's done you can turn it inside out okay this is uh, the hole that we left before what I do is I just take out the label so it's it's easy for you to turn inside Okay, just take it slowly and then, yep, grab the ribbon. Okay, okay, the next thing you, you have to do is um, take the scissor and repair the corner. Because we're going to fill it with the with the loose fiber of this. Okay, just repair all four corner slowly. This is the last one. Okay, so it's done. And the next step is we're going to. Uh, fill in the loose fiber okay the next step is get your loose fiber and fill it in okay my style is I just fill it in the corner first okay Just like that. Take some more and okay. In more. Just fill in. done almost done to the final step and okay. okay 
it's done okay the last step is you can stitch it back using your sewing machine but I prefer to um, hand stitch I think I didn't do the whole thing and the sewing thread okay just get your needle well I prefer this style I love um, using the hand stitch to close this on this kitchen you know to close this hole but it's it's up to you if you like to close it with sewing machine it doesn't matter um, I'm just using um, the slip stitch like the normal one I love uh, the outcome of the slip stitch just stitch till the end and I'll get back to you when I'll get back to you when I'm done because it's actually it's hard to hand stitch in front of the camera Okay, now it's done. Just get a key ring, place it into the ribbon, and Tara is done. So, when your customer buy it, they can uh, color it at your craft booth. So, that's what I do. I'll show you because I'm going to bring this stuff uh, to my craft fair. And I'll show you how I did that at the, my at my craft uh, booth. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. But the next view, I'll show you how I did for this uh, little cute pillow kitchen. Okay, hi. This is my booth today at Kolagangsa. So this is how I display. Uh, the pillow kitchen okay I will show you uh, how they color this kitchen Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you again next time. Bye!